Zegley was taken to jail. New tonight, drugs are a danger all teens face and one that's becoming increasingly hard to avoid. As kids continue to find new ways to get high, adults scramble to keep up. NBC 15's Chris Woodard sits down with those who know the dangers best. I'm just going to jump ahead just a little bit. It's a huge, huge struggle for them. This doesn't look like your average schoolhouse. I mean, it's kind of like a huge family here. There is no playground, no athletic field, and inside... Standard deviation. Not your traditional classroom. It's every day they're trying, taking little steps to have a sober life. What they do have is support. Horizon High School is a sober school focused on education and recovery. Do you like to tell me how you feel? It encompasses their whole life. But where these teens have a school and school day built on support, students in your average school are often on their own. Pressures of drugs and alcohol all around them. You can get anything off the internet, it's, it's scary. Dane County Deputy Jocelyn Longley spends time educating teachers. Just so that we're constantly informed. On what to look for. It is scary, it's, it's scary and you have to keep, stay on top of it. They'll admit, smoking marijuana before school or if they have open campus at lunch. She says while well, heroin is still a problem. It's scary. How are kids getting these drugs? What are they doing to supply their habit? Marijuana, prescription pills and alcohol have become the most common issues with teens. I think sometimes people forget about that, you know, being that now we have bigger drugs out there such as heroin and spice. Parents are so excited that their kids aren't struggling with the, with opiate addiction anymore. There's burglaries, there's car thefts. What to what levels are kids going to get money to, to support their habit? Kids have also become very resourceful as these YouTube videos show. Triple C or cough medicine is a huge one as well. They can mix all these different things up. That's easy access in the stores that kids can just steal. They can shake it up and it kind of breaks um, the components down in the drink and then the best part is on the top of it. And, it's, it's scary. And when it comes to pills, they're not just using. If kids have ADHD and they're on Adderall or Ritalin, you, know, you need to be watching your kids take this medication. Kids know they can sell these medications. During exam times, the value of those pills on a college campus go up. Then there are drugs like K2 and Spice, or synthetic marijuana, so new that no one really knows how dangerous they are. I just saw a news story recently about the amount of um, teenagers suffering from kidney failure by using synthetic marijuana. Sky Tickenin works at Connections Counseling. It's scary stuff and you know we don't know enough about it to know all of the risks involved yet. This drug is a perfect example of teachers. Just so you guys can see what it looks like. And parents needing to keep their eyes open. I think parents need to be aware of what this is. It could look like a Kool-Aid packet or a Pops Wrap packet. Along with the drugs themselves, the way kids use them is also changing. I feel like our school gives them a safe place to be. Now we're doing simple conjugation. And when not all kids are surrounded by constant support. It's hard to keep up because things are changing every day. The burden is increasingly falling on mom and dad to keep their children clean. Parents need to be aware that Drugs are out there. In Madison, I'm Chris Woodard for NBC 15 News. Both the counselor we talked to and the sheriff's deputy say the most important thing parents can do is have an open line of communication with their kids.